folks, uh, welcome to another Books and Bits. Uh, this week, or this video, is going to cover something I had showed before. Uh, it's a Raymarine ST Talk wireless controller. Uh, so basically what this does is allow you to control uh, your autopilot, your Raymarine autopilot, using something like this here, like a wee 433 MHz remote control, or something like this, or the, the app, or not the app, well the web app, so you can connect directly, this has like a, like a wee Wi-Fi thing in it, so you can connect to that, set it up, set the buttons up, and whatnot. Um, I'm actually doing this, I've set up another video channel, so I'm not going to pollute this with all the information about this here, uh, but I wanted to give a quick update and a quick sort of how it works and all the rest. Um, it is available, I'll, I'll give it a link, it's sort of the other channel's called Naughty Control, um, just basically because the, the plan is to build more of this stuff where you're controlling stuff in your boat. Um, but if you want to pop over there, it's going to be more technical stuff and builds and things like that there. So I'll stick a link down to that channel below. Um, but I'll show you how this works and give you a quick demo. I've showed it before, but not really much has changed in the functionality. But as you can see, it's kind of a nicer box. Um, comes with a nice piece circuit board. And they're available to buy now. Um, or you can make your own. It's open source so the, the full plans and everything else is in GitHub. So you can actually make your own. Um, and you can contribute and make changes and things like that there as well. Okay, well here's a quick overview now. Yeah, I haven't put it in dog. So, so you can kind of hear that. So I'm actually, and we can put it in standby. So then the other screen is setup. So that basically has all our buttons. So minus one, plus one, minus 10 plus 10 auto so it's made for device up to basically eight and uh, so some of the controllers which you can buy on the website have eight buttons so a lot more options uh, the other thing you can configure is the race timer so it's obviously it's set to five minutes for me and um, so what that will do is whenever i hit the race timer button it will start the countdown um on the 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 timer display like this the st60 and uh, this is speed one but i think it also works for tri data so i'm going to hopefully show it working now with um the st60 timer so it's basically just if you're in a race and you've got one of these uh, speed displays you can actually set timer mode get a countdown and um, but obviously the main thing is the autopilots and um, i have an st1000 this kind of works with any of the the c talk um Autopilots, so there's a, a list, you know, the ST2000, there's a pile of other ones. I'll stick a list of the ones that use the old Talk down below. Uh, so if, it, if it's on that, it should be fairly fairly straightforward to get it working with it. Um, I'm just going to now test and show the app. So if I go in here, it's currently on, so I reload. So this is just the, the web page. So as I was saying earlier, so if I hit auto, you can kind of see now it's went to A on here uh, and then if I change this so I'm doing plus ones you can see that it's actually changing there and then if I do it down it does it as well uh, similarly I've got this remote control and it's going down and going up uh, now I can turn it off on this one and I can turn it back on um, I've got one of the wee four button ones, uh, similarly. So you can actually ha use as many remotes in this as you want. So yeah, so that's that. Um, finally, start timer. So there we go. So you can kind of see now the, the countdown has started. You can actually program this in on the app to be whatever. I know it's, it's kind of a countdown from five. Uh, which probably suits most people, but you can set the, the, the variables in there um, to be whatever you want. You can also reassign the buttons. So if you want to use the buttons for different things, you can use the, the wee web interface to reassign them to be whatever you want. Um, the list of commands will be growing as I figure out how the CTOG commands work and do a bit of testing. So the, sort of the next version of the firmware will have a few more commands that you can assign to the buttons and whatnot. Um, and if you have any sort of things that you want to um, work with this here certainly drop us a line and um, as i said earlier we're kind of well i'm kind of working on other things such as a android wearable watch thingy so it can control it as well because i think that was one of the, the people that said and um, you can't always have your watch on you so being able to control it from watch would be pretty useful 
Thanks for watching, folks. Um, as I said, if you pop over to GitHub or the, the Naughty Control website, you'll be able to buy one of these or get the plans, download the software, and all the rest. Um, it, it's pretty cool, and there's good plans for the future. You know, um, wearable stuff like Android and Apple Watches and things like that, being able to control it, added functionality such as sort of open CPN and be able to export data that there wirelessly rather than having to have like ten boxes doing different things. Uh, I'm also sort of looking at different, uh, even sending NEMA sort of like, yeah, open marine stuff like that there where getting the data sort of being able to send it to CTOG so you'd be able to see sort of data from one system to another on your, your Raymarine instruments without actually having the Raymarine sensors there. Uh, but it's all cool stuff that'll be coming up. Uh, if you follow the Naughty Control webs or the YouTube, you'll get all that cool stuff there. Um, and this, I'll probably not cover this again on this one here, but yeah. If you fancy something like this here, which is pretty cheap if you're building it yourself, um, then yeah, pop over there and have a look. All right. Thanks for watching, folks. Catch us all. See you all later. Thanks. All right, bye.